The power of the mind is tremendous. We haven't even begun to scratch the surface of the power of the mind. And I'll give you two quick illustrations in case you're doubtful or skeptical. It's very well documented that people can undergo invasive surgeries, and I'm an OBGYN, so my illustration is C-sections, which are very significant surgeries, very invasive, needless to say, with no drugs whatsoever, nothing, no medications, no anesthesia, no epidural, nothing, simply using medical hypnosis. So if there's ever a question of how powerful is the mind, to me, there's no greater illustration of the power of the mind is huge when we know how to use it. We also know the mind can, can make it harder for our bodies to stay healthy and harder for our bodies to heal and recover. Stress plays a role in pretty much every disease and every condition there is. So what are the ways that we can use the power of the mind? And the other piece that you should be aware of, I have many people have said to me, well, I have a lot of stress in my life. There's nothing I can do about it. And they list off the stressors and they're right. Those stressors are real. They're in their life in a big way. And they are many times things they cannot affect, they cannot change. But here's the most important thing to realize. The effect of stress on your body has nothing to do with the actual real world circumstances. And I'll explain what I mean by that because that sounds a little crazy, okay? What I mean by that is if you are, let me give you the inverse as an illustration. Let's say you're on vacation. Let's say you're in the most beautiful place you can imagine. And in your mind, while you're in that beautiful place, you're replaying and thinking about all the stressors that you left behind, but they're still with you. Now, if I were to come along, which I'd be happy to, and monitor your blood pressure, your adrenaline, your steroids, your body, your heart rate, your respiratory rate, your body is responding as if you are in the middle of that stress. So all the risks that that produces in your life, all the bad health outcomes that it puts you at more risk for, you might as well be in the middle of them. Now the inverse is also true. Here's the power of the mind. You may have very significant stressors in your life, very real stressors in your life, but if you understand how to unplug from those stressors, even for a few moments every day. The physiologic benefit of that, the health benefit of that is huge. Your blood pressure comes down, your heart rate goes down, your stress hormones come down. You sleep better. If you do this before sleep, you'll find that even in stressful periods of your life, you have far better, more restorative sleep because you're unplugging from those stressors. So I'm gonna walk you through a few mind-body exercises. I'd invite you to enjoy any of them and find the ones that work for you and use them at any point in time. But I would most definitely suggest if you can remember to do one of these once a day and before bed's great because it really does help affect your sleep or if you wake up in the middle of the night, try one of these, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. So the first one I'm going to walk you through is a simple breathing technique. It was first taught to me actually by Andrew Weil. Um, so many of you know this, I think. Um, but the breath is a very interesting thing. And it can re re produce a relaxation response even if your mind is really busy. So what we're going to do is do a series of four breaths. But I'm going to count for you. And this is the way it's going to work. You're going to breathe in for a count of four. You don't have to remember this because I'm going to take care of it. I just want to explain it. You're going to breathe in for a count of four. You're going to hold the breath for a count of seven. So you want to take a lot of air in on the in breath. You'll hold for a count of seven. You'll breathe out for a count of eight. And what we think that does physiologically is it, it reverses a stress pattern of breathing. So if you're really stressed, you hyperventilate. This pattern of breathing where you have a long exhalation relative to the inhalation, that signals to your body like, oh wow, look at me, I must be relaxed, who knew? <laughs> so we think that's how and why it works, but it works. So I will do that in a series of four, four breaths. I'll count from you so you don't need to worry. The traditional way of doing this is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
And then it's also traditional to allow the tip of your tongue during the entire time to rest about on the roof of your mouth. So it's kind of a very odd thing if, you, if you've not practiced it, but put the tip of your tongue, if you're wanting to do it the authentic way, put the tip of your tongue up on the roof of your mouth, kind of on that ridge behind your front teeth. Okay, so if you do that when you breathe out, you're gonna make a swishing sound, something like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this and just settle in. If you're sitting or standing, either way is fine, or lying down, that's fine. Um, but just allow yourself to get comfortable. Sometimes we're not comfortable and we don't even notice it. So take a moment before we start and just get comfortable in the position you're in. If you're not comfortable, see if you can shift it around until you are. If you're at ease with your eyes closed, I would suggest you close your eyes. And if not, you can just lower your gaze. And just breathing normally at first, just take a few breaths and just allow yourself to settle in. And then when you're ready, go ahead and take a big deep breath through your nose. Two, three, four. Now hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out through your mouth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And deeply through your nose. Two, three, four. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out through your mouth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And deeply through your nose. Two, three, four. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out through your mouth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last time, in through your mouth. Two, three, four. Hold the breath, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out through your mouth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just let your breathing return to normal. Perhaps taking a few more moments with your eyes closed. And just notice how you feel. If the pace of that was too slow or too fast, you can adjust it. But stick to the four, seven, eight pattern and do it four times. It's a great thing to do anytime you're feeling stressed, before you sleep, if you awake in the night, or anytime you just want to settle in. <laughs> 